This is the most action-packed tour in Bohol from history, nature, and adrenaline all in one day. And while I enjoyed exploring with my friends, I also got to solo travel to some parts of the island that not a lot of people visit. So if you're visiting the jewel of the Philippines and don't have much time to spare, this itinerary will help you maximize your stay. So I stayed mostly in Banglao which is the main tourism hub for Bohol and the most popular beach here is Alona Beach. Welcome to Banglao. So I'd suggest staying here if you want a more vibrant surrounding with a lot of good food options that we'll be exploring later on. But before my friends joined me, I actually stayed somewhere near Lobok River. It's just an hour away from Alona Beach. So let's begin the journey there. When traveling the Philippines, I usually like to start with renting a motorcycle because it's the most convenient mode of transportation in these provinces. For context, a tricycle ride here would cost you around 300 pesos per ride just to nearby places. So renting this motorcycle for 350 pesos a day is a lifesaver, especially since one of the places I really want to visit is around 100 kilometers to the eastern part of Bohol. Okay, so I'm gonna ride for two hours north of Bohol and it's raining, but I can't just stay in one place. Like, it's really in my bucket list, so even though it's raining, like, I have to try and risk a bit. <laughs> so let's go. So despite the weather conditions, I started my journey to Anda, Bohol. It took me two hours to get there and the ride turned out to be sunnier than expected. You'll need to pay 70 pesos to visit the majestic Kabagnao cave pool. Two minute walk from the parking. From afar, it honestly looks a little underwhelming because it's literally a hole in the ground. But when you look at it more closely, you'll appreciate the dark blue hue of the water and I really got lucky that there wasn't many other tourists during my visit. It's only a 5 meter drop and I still got scared to jump. So at first, I tried to go down the ladder just to get the feel of it. And when I realized that it's not that high, I went back up for the jump. So these are technically sinkholes that are connected to the sea formed by limestone bedrock that collapsed which exposes the seawater beneath. The water is cold and it smells like a cave wood. It's considered the biggest and deepest cave pool around the area so make sure to visit this place. You can relax and you know take pictures while the next destination is a little more intense. Going here is definitely a must try because it's not something that you usually see here in the Philippines. And if you're going all the way to the eastern part of Bohol, you might as well visit some of the beaches. Now going back to my resort, I found another cool destination along the way, so I pinned it and went straight ahead. Now upon arriving, you will see a basketball court and there will be a guide there who will bring you to the falls. And the way to the falls is a little tricky because you'll be going through very rough terrain while riding a motorcycle with a skilled guide. And then some 300 steps of stairs which wasn't so bad but when I got down, I was just amazed at the sight of the falls from far away. The water is just roaring as you get closer and you feel the fierce currents through the moist and cold wind surrounding your whole being. It's such an enchanting sight as two distinct streams of water descend into the river. It is said to be more calm and vibrant during the summer months. Food in Bohol can be a little expensive. You'll spend around 400 pesos per person per meal here. So if you're staying near Alona Beach, make sure to visit Cajun. Since the Filipinos love chicken, we decided, you know, why not? Because there are like McDonald's and other restaurants who serve chicken, but our chicken is different because we get all the spices from Istanbul. And I can attest that the servings here are pretty huge even for three grown men like us. The quality of their food is also top notch. Another one on my list is an unexpected find in the northwestern tip of Panglao called Lavara. I tried their smoked pork belly vionette. It's a seemingly simple dish cooked to 
perfection, I also found a low-key coffee place called Crescentia Food and Coffee. It looks like an old traditional Spanish house and it just has that cozy vibe and homey feel to it. The food here is also very good. They serve traditional Filipino food and of course you have to try their coffee. And lastly, check out Lecker Garden. It's a vibrant restaurant that serves Mediterranean food, another must-try in Panglao. And just a quick tip, if you rate them on TripAdvisor, they will give you a free lemonade. I really like the quality of their food and the prices are not so high as compared to most restaurants in Bohol. Now it's time for the ultimate Bohol experience. We booked the Countryside Wonders of Bohol tour from Abraham Tours and I find that they offer a more comprehensive and jam-packed tour compared to most tours. They also have a very energetic tour guide who will teach you a lot about Bohol. So let's begin our journey with a bit of history and worms. Meron kami itong chicha worm. It's fried worm. Fried worm? Yeah, baka gusto nyo. Gusto ni Jet yun. Right uh, this is the Blood Compact Monument where Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, a Spanish explorer and conqueror, and Raja Sikatuna, the chieftain of Bohol, performed a blood compact on March 16, 1565 to symbolize peace and friendship. What you should absolutely try here is their delicacy, the chicha worm. It's a fried cultured worm, a high protein Wala snack. Next is a quick stop to Baklayon Church, another historical site as it is considered one of the oldest churches here in the Philippines, constructed by the Spanish missionaries during the 16th century. And after that, another rare opportunity to learn about Bohol culture that not a lot of tourists get to visit. It's a small factory for a rare artisanal salt called Asin Tibuok. This old practice is said to be endangered as the younger generations aren't interested in taking part of the production as it takes a really long time just to make one. It's sometimes referred to as a dinosaur egg and is sold here at around 800 pesos or 14 US dollars while it can be sold two to three times the original price in other parts of the country and sometimes even 10 times the price abroad. So that's a business proposition for you and I hope that more people will be able to visit this place and know more about Asin Tibuo to preserve the cultural heritage of these salts. So after learning a lot about history and culture in Bohol, it's time to immerse yourself in nature. This again is Lobok River and it's one of the most popular spots here in Bohol and you'll see why. We started off on a cruise while sipping some tea and our first stop here is this. Good morning, stars! We got to witness a super fun and energetic performance from these kids while taking part in the cultural Filipino dance we call Tinikling. It was a super fun and really one of my most memorable moments during that trip. We stopped by another interesting spot where we dared each other to swing and jump in the river despite not having swimming clothes. <laughs> now the waters here actually have a greenish blue hue during the summer months. It just looks a little murky now because of the rainy season. This is also considered one of the cleanest rivers in the Philippines, so don't be afraid to jump in. <laughs> Unfortunately, after that, my pants had to say goodbye. And finally, our last stop in Bohol is this mini falls where you can take a nice photo with your friends. Next up is the famous Tarshir. It's an alien-looking primate that can only be found in Southeast Asia. These are nocturnal animals. That's why you have to be very quiet when entering this place. 
as they are very sensitive and easily stressed out just like you and me. But they play a vital role in the ecosystem as they help control the insects in the forest. So it's important to leave them alone in case you find one out in the wild. And finally, any trip to Bohol would not be complete without seeing the beautiful chocolate hills. As kids, we always see this in the cover of our books, in tourism advertisements, and many of us thought, wow, we have hills that are made of chocolate. And unfortunately, that is not true, but they do look very chocolatey, especially during the dry summer months when these hills are as brown as can be. Now to make things more fun, you have the option to do this. We were thinking twice if we should be doing this tour because it started raining really hard. But we also thought maybe that would make it more fun. Stop that. Go. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah. Uh, I hear a chat to the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear a chat with the boys. My soul is my house, keep walking. Just too shot with the prize. White girls let it tell me I'm awesome. Yeah. Not like fire on the pine. So that's the end of the countryside wonders of Bohol tour from Abraham Tours and I realized that there's so much more to uncover in Bohol and I'm sure that I will be going back there in the near future. But for now, I hope that this video helped inspire your itinerary to your next Bohol trip. If you're looking for resort options here in Bohol, make sure to watch this video or maybe here. <laughs> and stay tuned because right after Bohol, I hopped into another flight to one of the best islands in the Philippines, which we will upload two weeks from now, hopefully. <laughs> so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and join me as we travel the Philippines with purpose. Maraming salamat and paalam.